Hello, my wonderful students. Today, we're going to start with a new lesson in math regarding multiplication digit by one, two digit by one digit number. Now, before we get started, we need to make sure that we are able to master our multiplication facts. We need to make sure that we, are, we memorize our multiplication tables pretty well before we start this lesson. Now, what is a lesson objective? I should multiply two digit by one digit using using the formal method. We, there are different types of method, but we will start working on this method. We are going to learn how to carry below, how to carry above, practice questions, and we are going to work on word problems. Let's get started, but please make sure before we start this lesson that we are able to master our multiplication facts. Let's get started. Now, we have the following number, 26 times 4. As taught in grade four, I taught you guys that I taught you learners that four is supposed to be the teacher. You have two and you have six, the students. The teacher is going to distribute worksheets for every single student in her class. Do we start with multiplying four by two? No, that's correct. We always multiply the ones first of all. We do not multiply the tens. So let's get started. Step number one, you are going to multiply four times six. Four times six is 24. Now, it's either you put the number below, as you can see the method carrying below, or you can keep it above. Now, once I multiply the six times four, which is 24, I need to multiply my two times four. So again, I repeat, six times four is 24, which is two, and then you put the four down. Then we multiply, 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 2, which is 10. My answer is 104. Now, as you can notice at the regrouping, we put the number that we are regrouping down from the method carrying below. Let's carry on with the next method. The next method is carrying above. Now, again, let's repeat. 6 times 4 is 24. We always multiply the ones. We always start when multiplying we multiply the ones, then we multiply the tens. So six times four is 24. Then we carry above. As you can notice the next number, which two is above. Then add any carried numbers. So you go two times four, which is eight. And then I add the two, which makes it into 10. So 26 times four equals to 104. Always remember that um, whatever method that we do, it is, going, uh, it is going to get us to the same answer. So as you can notice, 26 times 4 is 104. When we use the method of carrying above and carrying below, 26 times 4 equals 104 as well. Okay, now what we're going to do is I provided you some multiplication practice questions. So as you can see, 24 times four, four times four is 16. This is carrying above, two times four is eight plus one, which makes it nine. 22 times five, which is two times five is 10. And five times two is 10 plus one, which makes it to 11. Then we have eight times two, which is 16. Then four times two, which is nine. And then the last question, seven times one is seven and three times seven is 21 which we made sure that there is no regrouping in this question thank you for listening to listening to me and i hope that you guys enjoyed the lesson thank you